Realism and old consoles don't usually mix very well. Realism, old consoles, and football really don't mix very well. The technology simply wasn't ready for what the developers were trying to make. So what happens when you attempt to put all three together into the same game? Well, you end up with something like this. This is primetime NFL for the Genesis. First off, does anyone notice a slight similarity to another game that Sega released on the Genesis? Eric reviewed NFL 95 a few weeks ago, and this game is almost exactly the same. Now, I know that they are made by the same people, but almost nothing appears to be changed. The players look exactly the same, the fields look exactly the same, even the stupid taunts sound the same. This wouldn't be a problem if the two games shared good characteristics, but it seems that every mistake that was made in NFL 95 got transferred to this game. The controls aren't quite as bad, I'll say that. You can actually make a few things happen on defense, but offense appears to be almost unchanged, and it's just brutal. I think I threw five or six interceptions in the first half. Oh, not again. One thing that actually appears to be a little bit better in primetime NFL is the play calling. Teams have plays that actually seem to represent their offenses and defenses. For example, the Steelers are a very run-heavy team, so they have a lot of different run plays. They also have a very strong defensive line, so you won't be calling quite as many blitzes as you might with another team. The only issue with this is that the AI just isn't good enough to call plays based on game scenarios. It could be third and long, and they might be running the ball when you were expecting a pass, so there's just way too much chance. Some of the glitches and oversights in old games like this actually make for some of the best moments in them. For instance, after a play ends with you tackling the ball carrier, why not tackle him like 15 more times? Well, in today's video games, you can't do that. It's going to be a personal foul. But in primetime NFL, the referee doesn't bat an eye, and that's awesome. The frustrating thing about a game like primetime NFL is that it falls into the trap of trying to do too much with the hardware it's using. The pseudo 3D effect doesn't work very well, since there isn't really any depth. But couldn't they just use a 2D style and make everything look a little better? Look at games like the old backyard footballs, for example. No one would consider these masterpieces, but they utilized what they were given to create a football game that was still a lot of fun. This is one of the later Genesis titles, and one can assume that they were just trying to compete with Nintendo in the move to 3D. But it's a little bit frustrating when you can see that a game could be good if it just understood the limits of its system. There are some good sports games that came out in the early to mid-90s, but this is definitely not one of them. And if I hear that stupid horn blow one more time, I'm gonna lose it. Well, it's safe to say that there's a spot in Canton for Muhammad from Qatar when he's done donating to Classic Game Room. Touchdown! Uh. Uh. Uh.